Hey guys, welcome back to the driveway. Uh, I'm gonna make this video kind of quick. There are sometimes issues with your car where you'll get an EPC light on your dash. Pretty much that could indicate uh, there's some issues with your throttle, uh, your pedals, and um, just something wrong with your engine. And that needs to be checked out and it can cause your car to go into limp mode as well. So I found out the cause for mine. Uh, hopefully it helps you out with yours. This shortly happened after I installed the LED underglow and I'll show you why. So basically I got back in the car and it's running rough. So currently the EPC light is on. I'm struggling to stay on basically. Check engine light just came on, which for us Volkswagen owners is nothing new. I checked the engine and sure enough, I figured out the cause. So let's pop the hood and I'll show you what happened. Okay, so during the LED install, we removed the battery, but during that removal, I was kind of being lazy and I just kind of pushed this intake to the side, which caused this coupler to rip. Got it shipped from ECS Tuning, it was about 20 bucks. And that should fix the issue with the check engine light and also the EPC light. We got the new coupler installed and intake's tight, everything's good. Now with that installed, all the dash lights should go away. Before it would struggle to stay on and wouldn't even start, so let's see if this fixes the problem. Aside from an oil change due, it is idling better. I'm thinking maybe I need to drive the car around that way the lights will go away, but the car runs a lot better than it did. Okay guys, I'm back. We have the check engine light and the EPC light. I'm gonna cut the engine off and start it back up and they should go away. Alright, so that didn't go the way I wanted it to. It sucks, but I'm gonna have to plug in my OBD reader and find out what this is. Let me just check my reader, clear the codes, and it should go away. Alright guys, took me a while, but I found it. Uh, we're gonna check out what that check engine light is. Before I do that, uh, if you're uh, looking to support the channel, uh, I got these shirts. They got the Joel's driveway on the back. Uh, it says driveway gear on the front. You know, shirts you wear in the driveway when you're working on stuff or can't find your tools for finishing a project. If you want to support the channel, just DM me on my Instagram and I'll hook you up. Five codes found. Yeah, read codes, please. All right, random multiple cylinder misfire detected. All cylinders are misfiring. <laughs> yes, they're currently no longer misfiring, so we're gonna erase the codes. Yes, yes, I think that did it. Erase done. Yay, the lights are gone, finally. Okay, so apparently there's an extra step. If you have an OBD2 reader, just uh, scan and erase the codes, and you're set. Or I guess the computer was freaking out because I had all these misfires. But it's crazy how something so small can cause like just havoc on, on, on Volkswagen engines. I'm not saying this is what's gonna cure your EPC problem, but it's definitely an arrow in the right direction. If you're currently having that issue, just look around, see what's happening. If you're having a bunch of misfire codes, there you go. Check your intake piping. Make sure there's no tears. Make sure nothing is just disconnected. Um, I know it sounds stupid, but Things happen when you're working on your car. 
20 bucks i'm all fixed good to go that's all i got for this one guys uh you may have noticed that the e46 is gone if you've been following my instagram we got this nice tan jeep in the driveway you already know what i'm gonna do it's gonna be getting a new look and i'll be revealing the wrap color in the next video guys give this video a like if it helped you out and subscribe for more content